Alright guys, it's that time of the week again. We are back for our weekly championship score predictions. Let's jump in today's. Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, I'm hopeful that we'll have a fairly full championship fixture list coming at us this weekend. Fingers crossed we don't get all too many postponements coming in today. But last weekend, we obviously had the break with the FA Cup action going on. We'll discuss a few of those games throughout today's video. But I'm excited to now jump back into some championship action. Had a game going on in midweek as well, which we'll touch on. But as always, make sure to get your thoughts and score predictions in the comments down below. And without any further ado, let's just jump into this one. Starting out with the 12th. 30 kickoffs, the first of which we go to Cardiff up against Blackburn. This, I believe, will be Cardiff's last game that they have to play at home behind closed doors, obviously. Um, as a North End fan, I sort of had to experience this, as it were, um, at the weekend watching this game as a stream as fans couldn't go to the stadium. And it's just a bit of a weird flashback to a year ago, really. Um, definitely not the same and it all feels a little bit soulless but yeah, uh, Wales are set to lift those restrictions on spotting fans going into stadiums so fingers crossed that'll all follow through and Cardiff fans can actually get back into the stadiums in terms of this match, it's an interesting one both sides had fairly contrasting FA Cup weekends, Cardiff obviously beat my side North End in added time bit of a drab game to be honest with you, it wasn't all too much in it between the two sides but Cardiff just had those couple moments of quality in the final third, Blackburn had a fairly disappointing one to be honest, they went you know, quite strong with their lineup against Wigan, obviously lost that one in the last minute of it. For a score prediction for this one, though, Blackburn have obviously been on an absolute roll in the league. And I think they get back to winning ways in this one. I'm going to go for a 2 0 Blackburn in this game. I just think this could suit this one really. With no home fans being in the stadium, they'll be able to play on that one a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to edge Blackburn for this one for a 2-0. Thief is going 1-0 Blackburn. Next up then we go to Luton up against Bournemouth as the other early kickoff going on on Saturday. Both sides progressing through to the FA Cup fourth round at the weekend as well. It was Mark Andes with a hat-trick for Bournemouth and Luton who we've not seen in action in absolutely ages. They missed all their fixtures over the festive period so it'll be an interesting one to see what their level is at like coming into this one really obviously I think they would have used that FA Cup tie against Harrogate as a little bit of a mini pre-season for them really to get some of their players sort of back up to speed because we have seen you know some clubs coming back from such a long break looking a little bit jaded and a little bit off it so it'll be interesting to see what their level is in this one obviously their last game in the championship all the way back on the 11th of December being that really quite good performance actually high energy against Fulham maybe even could have gone on to get all three points in that one Bournemouth have had the advantage though of playing matches over Christmas and they they themselves have got themselves back into a little bit of a groove. You know, they were having a little bit of a stumble at one point themselves. But a few wins on the bounce recently. I think they just get through this one on the basis of maybe Luton being a little bit sort of off it with them having that break but maybe the FA Cup weekend sorted them out for them. I'm going to go 2 on Bournemouth and say they'll just edge this one. FIFA's going 1-0 Bournemouth. Next up then to Derby up against Sheffield United. Now things have got increasingly sort of messy at Derby um, over the last few hours now as of recording they've been placed under a fresh transfer embargo by the EFL and thus you know for the time being won't be able to bring in any players currently in the month of January which is a massive hammer blow you know there was the hope coming into January that a few more sort of free transfers and loans really could have supplemented this squad which was already looking to be you know pushing in the right direction. They've even got the chance to go off the bottom of the table this weekend with Barnsley obviously not in action because their game's being postponed. Another hammer blow coming by the fact that they've not been able to extend Phil Jagielka's contract so he's had to leave the club as well. He's been you know, quite a stable member of that back line as well with Curtis Davis so you'd imagine that it's going to be Stearman coming into that back line for this one but a real sort of backs against the wall now situation and scenario for Derby even more so than it was um, heading into this weekend. Sheffield United were obviously on a roll before they had that quite extended break over Christmas as well with games being called off due to Covid. Both sides were unsuccessful um, over the weekend in the FA Cup as well but even with everything that's gone against Derby lately I feel like this is going to be another scenario where we get a sort of you know, a motion-packed performance, and they end up maybe grinding out a result in this one. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, I think, because we've not seen Sheffield United in league action for so long. Maybe they'll be a little bit jaded. They lost 3-0 to Wolves, obviously, in their FA Cup match. Derby just have so much on the line. I think the crowd will be right behind them. 
Yeah, I'll go for a 1 1. It does have the feeling of quite a low score in that one. FIFA's gone for a 0 0. Next, then we go to Fulham up against Bristol City. Now, funnily enough, these two sides actually played each other at the weekend in the FA Cup, and it did take Fulham up until extra time to go ahead and get past this Bristol City side, albeit it was, you know, a second string Fulham side. And what we saw them do to Reading in midweek absolutely demolished them by seven goals to nil. It feels like Fulham have clicked back up into that gear that we all sort of expected them to. You know, they went on that successive period of draws where it went on for longer than I thought we all expected it to. Um, you know, the performances during that time when they were drawing matches were fairly sort of up and down, but they were so good in midweek against Reading. And I know that Reading obviously didn't help themselves in that one, but absolutely ruthless going forward. The mentality to keep going, even when they had four or five goals, they just wanted more and more. And that's the sign of a team which looks like it's got their mindset sort of back on track for this one. Bristol City had a decent result to be fair to them last time out in the championship. Uh, Andy Vyman masterclass in that 3-2 win over Millwall. But Fulham just seem like on their day they can be a different animal. So score prediction, I'm going to go 3-0 Fulham in this one. Sorry Bristol City fans, FIFA's is going for a 1-1 draw. Next up then we go to Huddersfield up against Swansea. Swansea another of the championship sides who we've not seen in league action since the 11th of December. So an absolutely huge gap from then up until this one. Obviously they did have the FA Cup game um, last weekend to sort of use as a bit of a mini pre-season. Gave Southampton a pretty good game in that one but ultimately fell short in stoppage time. Huddersfield on the other hand got the better of a Premier League club with that second half comeback against Burnley to now make it seven games unbeaten for them. They've obviously had the advantage of playing games over Christmas in that time they've allowed themselves to build up a little bit of momentum and keep proving me wrong and um, as is the case at the moment and to be honest I think that they probably get through this Swansea side in this one I think that with the way that Swansea will be coming back into this one you know not having that um, action in the league over Christmas it's always hard to tell how teams will come back into league action but the way that Huddersfield have seen off some pretty tough matches recently you know that point they got um, against Blackburn I think they win this game at home. I'm going to go 2-1 Huddersfield in this game with FIFA going 2-0 Swansea. Next up, we then go to the Riverside for Middlesbrough up against Reading. Reading just having a disaster of a new year. Things in 2022 couldn't have gone any more wrong for them so far. They obviously had that second half sort of self-implosion against Derby when they threw away that two-goal lead, lost in the FA Cup to Kidderminster, and then had that absolutely dismal performance in midweek, losing 7-0 to Fulham. And things don't get much easier for them in this one. I'm sure that Chris Wilder would have been licking his lips um, you know, on the prospect of this fixture for Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, on the other hand, had a lot more pleasant 2022 so far. They've been moving things quite swiftly in the transfer window so far. Riley McGreed looks like another player who's close to joining Borough at the point of recording. Balogun, that deal has now got over the line as well and I think the rest of the championship are quite excited to see how he fits into this Burr side and what he actually offers them and what his level actually is and, and if he can be the difference for Burr in the second half of the season. For a score prediction in this one though, I'm going to have to back Burr for this one, aren't I? I'm going to go 2-0 Middlesbrough. I think that Reading will just have a sort of backs against the wall performance where they think to themselves, we can't allow ourselves to get battered again, but I think most people have got Burr winning this one, don't they? I'm going to go 2-0 Middlesbrough. Thief is going 1-0 Reddy. Next up then to the den, we go to Millwall up against Nottingham Forest. Both sides up against Premier League sides um, at the weekend. Millwall, unfortunate in the end to lose against Crystal Palace. We saw the class of Michael Elise um, in the second half of that game when they got themselves into that leading position. Nottingham Forest, on the other hand, pulling off one of the upsets of the round. Absolutely brilliant stuff up against Arsenal. We got to see the first glimpse of Keenan Davis in a Forest shirt as well he did fairly well on his debut and I'm excited to see how they sort of utilise him in the second half of the season as well and do you know what I think it is Forrest that I'm probably leaning to in this one as well Millwall had that quite disappointing display last time in the championship as they threw away that lead to lose against Bristol City in the end Forrest wanting to build up a little bit of momentum they themselves had that disappointing game against Huddersfield before the FA Cup weekend so for a score prediction for this one I think it is Forest who I'm just edging towards now. I don't usually back against Millwall at home, but I'm going to go 2-1 Forest in this one, with FIFA going 1-0 Forest. Next up then, we go to Peterborough up against Coventry. Now, surely Peterborough would have been keeping a keen eye on the Reading result over the midweek, you know. Peterborough have had so many sort of 
false starts, I want to say, so far this season, where it's looked at times like, okay, they've had a really good performance there. Surely they'll now build on that with a little bit of momentum. But it's just not quite happened, and they've stumbled over themselves at the first opportunity. Surely now, though, seeing the mess that Reading are in, they'll use that sort of motivation for the rest of the season because there is a genuine chance that if they, you know, string together a few results now, they could start to put a little bit of distance between themselves and those sides below them, you know, similar to how we saw Hull do that um, a couple of months ago. Coventry are an interesting one. They obviously won in the FA Cup over the weekend as well. 1-0 uh, against Derby. Not all too much in that game, seemingly. Similar to that one against uh, Millwall, where it was a you know fairly sort of drab 1-0 Millwall win in the end. Coventry's away record in general hasn't been great, but their last four matches, they have picked up results in each of those four away matches three draws in that time and I am sort of edging towards I think a draw in this one as well to be honest with you I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw but a win here for Peterborough seems like it would be absolutely massive but they've just been a little bit too unreliable this season for that so I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw FIFA's going 2-0 Coventry next up then to Deep Del 4 Preston up against Birmingham both sides taking to extra time over the weekend in the FA Cup both sides eventually going on to lose Birmingham though Significantly, I'd say, more disappointing than North End result. You know, Preston losing to Championship opposition in Cardiff. Birmingham losing to Plymouth. Ryan Lowe's previous side, which will be an interesting one, that they're going up against Ryan Lowe in this one. But the fact they didn't have a shot on target throughout the 120 minutes in that game is speaking volumes about where Birmingham currently find themselves, especially in terms of an attacking sense, where they've been really quite disappointing um, over the last few months now, to be honest with you. Preston, not great um, in that game against Cardiff, but we made a few sort of tweaks to the system for that one, and in the end it was just a little bit of a drab game with no sort of fans in the stadium. I think Ryan Lowe will be keen to keep on with the sort of momentum that he's built up for himself in the league so far. You know, two league games in charge, two wins. The comeback against Stoke last time out was a particularly impressive one and I think that Preston may just edge this one maybe not going to be sort of a thriller of a game in terms of the spectacle but I'm just going to edge Preston for a 2-1 in this game with FIFA going 2-0 North End. Next up then to QPR up against West Brom and I am struggling for this prediction a little bit because both teams are looking a little bit light at the moment for different reasons. Obviously QPR affected by AFCON at the moment and the players they've got away on that. West Brom also affected by that as well but also the accumulation of sort of injuries and suspensions that West Brom have got in that side at the moment. Particularly in their back three where you know the red card that Kipri picked up on the FA Cup weekend certainly didn't help them looking like for numbers in that area at the moment. So yeah without seeing the starting lineups for each team going into this one it's a tough prediction to make. I think out of the two sides I'm probably leaning towards QPR a little bit more but then West Brom also have the Daryl DK factor coming into this one who I can't wait to see in the second half of the season now. What is important to remember is it did take him a little bit of time to sort of find his feet at Barnsley last season. I think it took him four or so matches before he started scoring for them and then you know as soon as he got that first goal he absolutely took off as did Barnsley in their top six charge but maybe with him already having that established relationship with the league now that sort of betting in period will be significantly less but I think I'm going to play it safe for this game and go for a 1-1 draw. I think out of the two sides I'm leaning more towards QPR I'll just say that West Brom will grind out a point from this one. FIFA's also going for a 1-1 one -one in that one. And as our last game to go over, as Sunday's game, we've got Hull going up against Stoke. Hull involved in quite the entertaining FA Cup third round fixture. Um, ultimately lost against Everton, but they gave it a hell of a go in that one. And in terms of an actual spectacle of a game going on on that weekend, um, yeah, really was one worth watching. Going up against the Stoke side, who have been faltering recently in the league so the FA Cup win that they got over the weekend may have been a bit of a confidence booster for themselves coming into this one. It'll be an interesting game because I do think that even in some of the games that Hull have dropped points in recently, thinking back to those league matches, you know, against Forest and Blackpool, there has been, you know, a little bit of sort of an air of misfortune about some of them, you know, even thinking back to the Bristol City game and the late equaliser that they got in that one as well. So, it's about time that Hull sort of clicked back up into gear. They had a bunch of chances against Blackpool, but ultimately just came up a little bit short in the final third. Stoke, like I say, they've been a little bit sort of hit and miss in the league recently, but that win in the FA Cup may have given them a bit more of a spring in their step, albeit it did come against lower league opposition. For a score prediction in this one, I don't think there's going to be all too much in it between these two sides. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw with FIFA just edging towards Stoke with a 1-0 away win. 
But guys, there we have it. Those are my predictions heading into the weekend's action. Like I said at the start of the video, fingers crossed we don't get all too many postponements going on um, over the next few hours or so. Hopefully we don't get any more postponements, but we never know these days, do we? As always, make sure to leave your thoughts and score predictions in the comments down below. Which way do you think your side's going to go this weekend? But apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. Leave a like if you want to enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one.